Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright and I am the Resourceful CEO. Today, I'm here to talk to you about SBA loans, specifically the SBA loan that's being offered now through September or until September. The typical SBA 7A loan requires you to put 75, um, excuse me, 25% down. They'll finance up to 75% of the loan. So again, the maximum they'll finance is 75% of the loan. And that's for anything over 150,000. For loans under 150,000, the SBA will guarantee up to 85%. So maybe I should rephrase that. The SBA will guarantee up to 75% if it's over 150,000 and up to 85% if it's 150,000 or under. And that's the typical 7A loan. However, with what's going on right now, COVID, as uh, things were amended with the various acts that, uh, I, don't, I don't know other names, another CARES Act was back in um, earlier in 2020. Then there was the conciliation. Anyways, another one, December 26th, 27th of 2020, which extended the PPP and also uh, put forth some of these, the changes that we're hearing about with the SBA loan, or I will be telling you about. And, um, and then the um, additional, um, um, let's see, COVID, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? COVID era help provided to small business owners that came through in March of this year, 2021. So anyways, the point is, is that these are not, the SBA didn't go, oh, we should do this. This was, this is driven by actions from Congress, your representatives and your senators. <laughs> okay, so right now, if you're looking to buy property for your company, looking to open a new location, buy more equipment or buy another company, now is the time to do so. Especially if the only thing you own is your house and your business. If you own multiple businesses under your name and you own multiple properties, that could be an issue because the SBA likes to lock up everything you own as part of your personal guarantee. So, but if you only own your home, then they would only lock up your home. <laughs> in the past, I didn't advocate for people to use SBA loans. Now I've had some clients who have used SBA loans, so I'm not saying I didn't suggest or recommend that a particular client use it based on their situation, but in general, I didn't advocate for um, SBA loans. But I'm advocating now, people. I'm advocating now because the maximum loan amount is now 90%. The SBA will guarantee up to 90% of your loan right now. In addition, the SBA is waiving their origination fees. And remember, the SBA is a guarantor, so the bank has its fee and the SBA has its fee. But for now, until September, the SBA is waiving their fee. So that makes the loan cheaper to obtain more in line with a regular commercial loan from your bank. And so the 90% is huge. The waiving of the origination fees is big. But the other big thing is that the SBA is paying six months of your monthly payments if you get this loan by September. So six months. They're not deferring it. They're not capitalizing it. The SBA is paying it. They're paying it. They're, they're, it's as if they're making the payment for you up to $9,000 per month. So if your payment is 9,000 or under, it's completely fully paid by the SBA for the first six months, six, six. And if your payment is $11,000, Again, this is depending on the size of the loan and the interest rate, then 
the SBA is waiving 9,000 of that and you make a payment of 2,000. And again, this is six months. So six times nine is $54,000. So up, to, so you'll save up to $54,000 in cash. Um, now some of that is debt repayment because the, I believe the loans are amortized, but don't quote me. Um, I think they're, but I, I do believe that they're amortized over the period, 10 years, um, five years, 10 years, 20 years, um, over the, you know, the term. But, um, so a lot of, some of that will be, a lot of that will be interest and some of that will be principal repayment. So again, cash flow, I'm always, always, always stressing cash flow. And if you can forego making a $9,000 pay payment or up to a $9,000 payment for six months, that gives you significant space for your cash flow. That's really a, a boon for your cash flow. So again, those are three major re reasons to apply for this loan. So the window closes September of 2021. So if you've been thinking about, again, if you've been thinking about acquiring another company, buying a building or buying equipment, then please, um, or even if you need uh, an, another working line of, of capital, um, then please consider an SBA loan, an SBA 7A loan and do it now. Talk to your banker. Uh, most banks have an SBA team. They, uh, that's different, that's separate from the commercial team because the SBA has all these, you know, they have all these uh, nuances and so on that, that, are, that differ from a commercial loan. So yes, most banks that do SBA loans typically have at least one SBA banker. And if they do multiple SBA loans, they, they typically have several. So talk to your banker and get and have them patch you into one of the SBA bankers so that you can get a good understanding. Or better yet, have a call like I did with, with my banker, my business banker, because remember, because remember I advocate for all of you to have a relationship with your banker at the VP level or above. You need someone who has decision-making authority. Typically a branch manager only has decision-making authority up to $50,000. So if you need a $1 million loan, you're essentially screwed. <laughs> I understand this. Hey, if you, if you, if you want, if, if you want to be soft peddled to, you need to watch a different video, but yeah, you're essentially screwed. If the person who's supposed to be advocating for you has only 1 20th of the decision-making power that you need. You have a VP, depending on the bank, they may have anywhere from 500,000 to 2 million of decision-making authority, or they may sit on a lending team and they make a decision as a group. But again, they are a respected business banker who has multiple business clients. And so when they weigh in on your business, it carries weight and you're much more likely to get the loan. So that's what's so important. So if you have a relationship with your business banker and you keep them apprised of what's going on with your business, I always say, hey, you know, provide them with the executive summary and your financials and then work with them to get a, a line of credit. Like if you don't qualify for the size of line of credit you need now, you will qualify later. Um, but anyways, I'll have a whole nother a whole nother discussion about the business banker relationship later. But just suffice it to say, talk to your business banker and have them connect you with the SBA lender on their team and preferably have the three of you talk. It's a phone call or Zoom session. You don't need to be in person. It's just, you know, I mean, hey, three-way phone calls have been around since I was a kid. <laughs> So, you know, it's been around for a while. <laughs> um, then the other thing, so, okay. So just quickly, I'm gonna talk about the 504. 
the 504 is something that is available anytime. And that's another way for you to get 90% uh, loan to value on an SBA guaranteed loan. But the, but the thing with a 504 is you need a CDC, a community development corporation to provide a percentage of that. That's what's bridging that gap between the 75% and the 90% loan to value. Um, and that's for equipment, for buildings and for acquisition as, as long as that acquisition has some, uh, you know, company acquisition has some um, assets to it. So, um, but yeah, so the 504, but again, so you would, I, I would recommend that you, if you're interested in the 504, if you don't make the window for the 7A and you're interested in the 504, reach out to a CDC, that's Community Development Corporation. They're nonprofit corporations or a CDFI. You, you'll need a CDC, but maybe a CDFI, which is a, a community development financial institution. That CDFI can connect you to a CDC, okay? And um, it's uh, typically it's in certain areas or certain kinds of companies or whatever, but you have to be appealing to the, you have to appeal to the CDC to have them want to um, work with you and, and fund you. So there's just more moving pieces there, but it can be very much worth it. And I believe that's it. If you have any questions, please uh, contact me at the resourceful CEO. That's the resourceful CEO.com forward slash contact. Or if you want to talk to me, you can schedule a 20 minute call. Just click on uh, the schedule button up in the corner or go to the resourceful CEO.com forward slash schedule. You'll answer some questions and then that way we make sure that your 20 minute session that's free is um, very, um, is high impact. It's high impact for you, it's high impact for me. I'll take a look at it and digest it and I'll have specific questions to ask you when we speak. This is the Resourceful CEO. Please subscribe. Oh yes, always forget to please subscribe and like the video, like the video. I have to remember to say that. And uh, I'll be back.